So my company has a huge convention coming up here in a couple of weeks, and it's going to be thousands of agents. And what I find is, especially when I go by myself, because I've been with a team before and sometimes friendship, whatever, but it seems like everyone's kind of in their own little cliques. They've come from their local areas they have. And it's, so let's start there is like, how, how do you break in without going, Hey guys, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's like with anything, right. And I think when you go to a conference like this or convention like this, you know, you're with other agents, right? Like, you know, every, most everybody does what I do. So in theory, that should make it easier, right? Like, hey, we're all in the same world. We're all doing the same thing. But I don't necessarily think that always makes it easier for folks to just walk up to somebody and start car carrying on a conversation. Um, I always tell folks when they're trying to figure out how to like start a conversation with a stranger is sometimes and as cheesy as this is going to sound, but sometimes just have like the three questions that you could ask right? Or that you would want to ask to start a conversation or to have in your pocket when there's like a lull in the conversation. Because even though you're both agents and you're both there and you're with the same company and you would assume that conversation would be easier, it's still a new person. It's still someone you've never met before. So sometimes just being like, hey, how do I get this conversation started? Here's kind of my questions I'll ask or what happens when there's an awkward silence? Here's some questions I can just pull out and ask. And I do that. I, I do that a lot with people who are very uncomfortable networking from that perspective of getting them more comfortable with the idea of just like, just have some tools in your toolbox and pull out those questions when you need them. And don't let one of the questions be about the weather. We're better than that. It does not need to be about the weather. <laughs> How dare you talk about me like that? Um, <laughs> sure is hot in Vegas, isn't it? Oh my gosh. It just feels so stupid. Can you, can you imagine that heat they're having outside? Yeah. At least it's a dry heat. <laughs> That is true. As Southerners, we know we, we, sometimes we'll take the dry heat over that oh, yeah. humidity. Um, what are three just good questions for someone who's like, I don't even know where to start because everything seems silly to them. Yeah. So sometimes it's like, how long have you been in business? How long have you been an agent? Like we know the stories that will then come from the, how long have you been doing this? And that's a really simple one, right? It's like, hey, how long have you been doing this? And if you're a newer agent, those are opportunities to like soak it in, right? And if you're an agent that's been a little bit more established or whatever, that's an opportunity for you to notice that, hey, this person's only been in it a couple of years. Hey, if you have questions, ask, like be a bright spot for somebody else. I mean, that could be huge. So I think it depends on a little bit of your personality and a little bit about what you feel you have to give to the other person if there's a need. But the fastest way to figure that out is ask the question of how long you've been in business. Because when I'm out in a networking event and I'm talking to a business owner who's been in business two years, I'm like, oh, honey, let's have that conversation. Because I've been doing this a decade. And oh, by the way, this is my second company because the first one failed. So I think it's just that natural curiosity. Like, hey, how long you've been doing this? How long have you been an agent? And then usually... Not everybody like graduates from college or graduates from high school and becomes an agent. Most people have a life before they decided to become an agent. So there's stories there. Just you can dig in and ask more questions there. Oh, you just became an agent five years ago. What'd you do before this? Right. So sometimes having that one question naturally leads you to ask other questions. But here is also something I find that people don't do. If you want to make a conversation easy, you actually have to listen to what they're saying, because that is typically what's going to prompt <laughs> the next question you would ask. So if you told me, oh, I've been an agent for five years, right? And I'm like, well, okay, you're not 20. So obviously you probably did something before this, right? I'm saying this in my head. I would never say this to someone else, but like, okay, great. What'd you do before that? Those questions naturally, and there's connection there. Oh, right. I know somebody who went to that college, right? Like there's all these things that can come up or there's compare like those moments of connection that you can find with people when they start telling their story or you start asking questions for them to explain a little bit about themselves. So definitely how long have you been in, in business, right? What did you do before this? And sometimes the, why'd you become an agent would work as well. I mean, I think those are three simple questions. I don't think you need to ask all three and every single conversation you have, but those are three easy questions that most of us can remember.